One of the most anticipated features of Onsong 2024 is the brand new unified rendering engine called R2. Let's dive right in and check out some of the features that you'll now be able to use in Onsong 2024. The first thing you might notice is a subtle change to our style preferences menu. Here we still have the familiar document, format, and chord tabs. In our document tab, we've moved things around just a little bit, but you still have the ability to change the mode of the page to alter the tint color or to turn on low light mode. There's also still the ability to change the font, but we've moved the line spacing to this page since it handles line spacing through the entire document. Further down, we have the ability to change the page size, which we've always had the ability to do. For instance, if we change to landscape, it will change the font size to accommodate that particular size. But in layout, we now have a new section where we can turn on columns. And there, I've just taken my core chart, which is text-based, and laid it out with two columns. This allows me to very easily see everything in one screen. One thing that's interesting is that once we bring columns into the equation of the rendering engine, the way columns behave changes depending on if you're looking at a printed page versus on the screen. Let's, let me show you what I mean. If I turn columns on while I'm in this screen, it will automatically use as much space as needed to split the song into two columns. What I mean is if I have a very large song, it will try to evenly split the content between the first column and the second column. However, if I turn on this button, I'll take my continuous page and add in line breaks. Now, I can easily fit all the content I need into one page. But if, let's say, I wanted to switch over to landscape orientation, now I do need to split the content because my page is much shorter, being that I rotated the paper. And if I turn columns off, you'll see that I am breaking the content to the next page. The new rendering engine is wonderful. While everything still looks very familiar, we've completely rewritten it from the ground up. Now, the thing is, many of you have many different types of content, and some of those might not be compatible with the new rendering engine and some of the features that I'm about to show you. But the nice thing is, you can always go back to the original rendering engine. Let me show you. In the lower left corner, you see an R2 button that's highlighted. If I want to go back to my original rendering engine, I can simply press R2. The screen will blink, and now I'm seeing the original rendering engine. You can always toggle it back on when you're ready. Something else that's new is we've added something that we call text formatting. This allows you to stylize your songs globally across the entire system without having to make those changes to every single song. It also means that we can make changes specific to the song that's in addition to that standard style. And we've done all of this by continuing to make it easy to use in Onsong. Let me show you. Let's switch over to our Format tab. Here you can see things look pretty much like you're used to. We have the header, metadata, lyrics, section labels, and chords. Next to each one of those, we can turn it on and off, just as we're used to and we can change the size with the slider. Our chords act very similar to the way they always have. For instance, we can change the font style, like the color and the highlight, bold and italic, just as we're used to. But what you might not realize is that I can do that with every single type of aspect of my song. Next to each of the sliders, is this little square that looks like an A. I can tap on it to now change the style of my header. I can turn bold on and off, italics, even apply a highlight color to my header. And of course, I can do that with every aspect of my song, including metadata, my lyrics, or my section labels. 
I might want to highlight my section labels differently. Even better yet, you can apply those styles to specific sections of your song. Let's take a look. Down here at the bottom right, I have a button that looks like additional sliders. If I tap on that, I can now add additional aspects of my song that I want to format. For instance, maybe I want to change my chorus or my bridge. Now this song doesn't have a chorus, so I'm just gonna drag the bridge up there. And then hit done. Now I have a new section that I can affect in style. You can see that the slider is dimmed. That means that we're gonna be taking the style from the default style. If I tap in the middle of the slider, it activates the bridge. Like I said before, you can change the style of your song, just like OnSong has always worked, and that's the default. Or I can change the way it looks across all songs in my library using the System tab. Let's take a look at that. Down below here, we see the System tab. If I tap on that, you can see that suddenly my chart changes to my system default. For instance, I might want to change the header size to be bigger. If I go back to song, I'll now see it as the song intended. So I can toggle between each of those for each song. However, let's say I want my song to pick up the style of my header from the system. I could tap in the middle of the slider for the header and it'll automatically take the system size instead. One of the other great features in our style preferences menu is the ability to put our chord diagrams in other places on our song. This is all thanks to the new unified rendering engine. Let's take a look at that. Over here in the chords tab, you can see everything looks very similar, except that we've added some additional diagram positions. We can still put the chord diagrams above everything or below, of course now you don't see it, but now we can also align those chords to the left or to the right where we have more room. This even works great with columns. So for instance, if I come back over here, turn on my columns, I can still have my chord diagrams on my right and look at my content using columns. R2 is enabled by default, but you can always turn it off and you can turn it off both globally or per song. Let me show you some other features that are available with the new rendering engine, like inline format. To use inline editing, I'm going to open my song editor by opening the attachments menu and then tapping edit chords and lyrics. Now let's say I wanna highlight the word menu bar. I can tap and select the word. Now I'm gonna tap on the inline formatting button right above the keyboard. And here I can choose a highlight color, let's say orange. OnSong has now inserted the proper inline formatting around the word. I can also, let's say, bold it. Now let's say I want to underline just swipe. I could do that manually. Type in an angle bracket and then an underscore and then end with an opposite end bracket. There, now we've just highlighted and bolded the word menu bar and underlined the word just swipe. Now let's say we wanna put a link to a website or maybe a YouTube video. I can again come in here, scroll to where I wanna edit and type in a URL. Now when I tap done, you'll see that the URL appears and it's underlined. And I can just tap it to open it up right inside of OnSong. I hope that shows you some of the great new features with the new unified rendering engine in OnSong. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.